Infographics Toolkit is a full solution for creating end-to-end -end data infographic video presentations. It not only creates beautiful animated charts that are created automatically from any spreadsheet source or direct input, but also gives you many template styles, with many free added through in-app updates for the intro and outflow of animations as well as smooth transitions. It then puts the entire presentation together using its innovative automatic final builder feature that makes adjusting the final presentation a breeze. So while I was introducing the Infographics Toolkit, I actually created a 15 second video infographic presentation, including logo intro, logo outro, one animated bar chart with custom transitions with Infographics Toolkit, and it only took me 30 seconds to do it. So this tool is really powerful and quick. So let me show you how to use it and how to create amazing looking video infographics in minutes. So after you've installed the Infographics Toolkit, you can fire it up by going to Window and then clicking Infographics Toolkit. As you can see, it's a dockable UI, so you can place it anywhere you like. Uh, this tool has two tabs, Defaults and Add Charts. Defaults are like infrastructure that you have to build, and then you add charts to the presentation. So first we have options with Tagline, Style and Logo. So Tagline. We can type in something like A scripts. And then for style, we have 10 custom animated styles right now that you can use. So let's use this one, style number four, and let's choose our logo. I'm going to use infographics logo and click generate defaults. Generate defaults will delete everything you have in project file. Are you sure? Yes. So as you can see, we have our final animation right here with our tagline and our logo, custom transition, and then logo outro. No bar charts or any charts right now. So all the charts that you create are going to be placed in iToolkit charts. Everything else is going to be in other. And iToolkit style is the imported style where you can find the intro, logo, placeholder, background, tagline, transitions, and final outro so you can edit anything you like. Okay, let's add some charts. First of all, we go to Add Charts, and now we have options, Chart Title. Let's say Chart, Bar, Chart, Example. Type, we have six charts right now. Stack Bars, Inline Bars, Thin Line, Area Line, Full Pie, and Donut. For this chart, I'm going to use Bar Inline, and duration of it is gonna be six seconds, with a USD character right next to them. Okay, now we have to fill in the data for our chart. We can use these four buttons to click. So when you click plus, you can add, let's say, one, two, three. It's going to add the data right here. You have data set one, data set two, data set three. So you can have, you can have as many, as many information as you want. I'm going to clear all of this right now and click this button, which is a load CSV button. And I'm going to use a CSV, this one. So I'm going to select all three data sets for my chart. And all I have to do right now is say, click create chart. It usually takes only a couple of seconds. So it calculated and created everything. And now if you click Build Final. Infographics Toolkit is going to find our new, newly created chart and it's going to place it and edit the final comp. So you have the final presentation here, all ready to render. Pretty cool. So let's go back here and say line chart example. And I'm going to choose thin line and I'm going to clear all the data and I'm going to import my other CSV. And let's use only two data sets for this one and click create chart. Okay, now we click build final again. And there we go. We have our new chart here. Pretty cool. 
Okay, let's do one more for this presentation. It's a pie chart. Let's do donut. Let's clear out the data and load my pie data. So the pie chart is going to use only data set one. So you can add as many values as you want. And let's say, click. actually, let me show you one more feature. You can select this row and click edit. This window pops up, data editor, and you can change the value here. And now all I have to do is say create chart. Build final. And there we go. Pretty cool. 30 seconds of video infographic presentations created in a couple of minutes. Okay, so let me show you how to edit this even more right now. So let's say you wanted to change your background color. So that we have a background comp right here that you can double click. That's also here in iToolkit style and then background under three. So let's create a new adjustment layer and add a fast blur. And we can also maybe add some tint effect. And then if we go back to the final, you will see that everything changed and our chart is intact. Pretty cool. So let's go to this bar chart example, which is located right here. So the way automatic final build works is uh, he will find three charts right here and it will put them in the same order they are here. So if I rename this to let's say two dot bar chart example and then this one one dot bar chart example and this one three we've rearranged them and now all I have to do is go back here and click say build final and it's going to reorganize them so you don't have to worry about that. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's go into our line chart. Here we have our comp of the line chart. It's simply a pre-comp, so you can add multiple effects to it if you want to. But if you double click on it here, it's going to go into its, uh, its comp where it's created. So if you uncheck high, uh, shy layers, you will find all of the things here rather interesting. So let's select dashboard theme and let's lock this and we go back to the final. So these are all of the custom controls that you can use to actually edit this chart. So we can use chart width at 750 pixels and it's going to recalculate the whole chart. And we can let's say type 400 here. And the cool thing is you don't have to worry about animation since it's all expression based and it's going to calculate everything perfectly. So let's go even further. Maximum value we can put it to 2000. Dot radius 32. So it's going to create some big dots and then we can use the line thickness at one. So it's like really thin or you can even use zero and hide the lines altogether. But Let's use two. So we have data set one color. So if we click this, we can change it to something like red. And it's going to change the color and it's awful. So let's change the color back to something a bit better. Nice. And let's change the data set color two to something greenish. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of things here. <laughs> So you can create a lot of different charts. Let's change the outline color to, let's say, blue. And it's going to change the grid to blue, but that's awful. So let's put it back to white. Uh, let's go to grid vertical parts. Let's put it to like 10 and horizontal to one. So you get a completely different grid. Pretty cool. We have four values, so we can put eight vertical parts. So it aligns perfectly, pretty sweet. Mm, 
we can offset the text if we want to. So let's say 60. It's going to offset everything. We have the text scale and that's about it. We can change the decimal points to let's say 4. There. 1. Cool. Okay. So one more th thing we can do here is go back to the line chart comp and select animation controls. But first unlock this. And let's lock the animation one. So right now it's going to take two seconds for this chart to animate. But if we change this to five, it's going to animate itself under five seconds. Very sweet. And you don't have to worry about it. Very cool. If you go back, we have values data set one and values data set two. So you can actually change the values here if you type them wrong in your CSV or anything. So let's lock this. Go back to final and change the value of 2016 to 150. Actually, let's put it to something like 900. So you can see it actually moved itself. You don't have to worry about keyframes or anything. It's all automatically calculated and animated almost in real time. So pretty cool. Okay, if we go into the bar chart comp, let's first unlock this. We have all the same things as we did with the line charts. So you can lock this, come into the final and play with this. Even more 400. We can change the colors. You get it. So we can do the same with the pie chart. We can change the... Actually, we have a couple more controls in the pie chart. So let me show you. So we select dashboard theme and we lock it. We have the animation duration right here. So let's put it to like four seconds. We can set the inner radius to let's say 150. And my After Effects seem to have froze. So let's go edit purge all memory. And there we go. So we can go here and change this to something like red. Blue. Green and white. Whatever. So pie chart has this cool feature called explode so if you put it let's say minus 10 it's going to create a different radius for this by this part of the pie chart only so you can use it to create some pretty sweet stuff and we have the font color background color offset blah blah so let's say you don't want this chart in your presentation anymore, so you can just delete it from here and then rearrange everything by yourself. Or you can simply go to iToolkit charts and select pie chart, delete, and go back to your infographics toolkit and say click build file. And there you go. It's pretty cool, it's pretty fast. Uh, oh, there's one big, big option I, I, I forgot to mention. So. Um, we have this button here called check for updates. So if I click on it right now, it's going to say no updates because I have all 10 styles we have created so far. But in the future, we are going to create new styles and we're going to upload them to our server. So let's say next week, we're going to upload the 11th style for free. So if you click this, it's going to pop out. There's one new style available would you like to download it so if you click ok it's going to download it automatically into your documents infographics toolkit folder and it's going to be available uh, here under style 11. i hope you'll like it i had a lot of fun creating it if you have any ideas for more features please let me know i would like to make this tool as best as possible so yeah thank you for watching this video and bye bye.